The Titans beat the Jaguars by 21 points. Color me shocked. <laughs> yeah, I knew the Titans were going to win last night because the Jaguars are shells of their former selves that they were a year ago. And I think earlier this year I predicted the Jaguars Vikings Super Bowl. Well, first it was a, a Bills Vikings Super Bowl. And then a Jaguars Vikings Super Bowl. And then I rooted for the Patriots, and then we all know what happened after that. Man, all I know is that we are so going to win on Sunday. Happy Friday, everybody! Yeah, sorry. Honestly, time got away from me yesterday, so I wasn't quite able to go see Schindler's List, but I'm going to try doing that at some point this weekend, because I'm pretty sure the Regal at the Arnett Mall is still going to be playing it. Um... So, you know, there's that. Uh, what else is there? What else is there? Um, yeah. Yesterday was a pretty good day all around. And, again, this is the second day in a row where, like, it snowed last night, but there's so little powder that a little wind just, like, and it just, like, blows away. It's really kind of cool. Like, you can still see your footprints on the, on the streets and everything, but... Because of the wind, it'll just, like, blow away. I mean, it's... I, I mean, I really do like this time of year. I really do. I mean, when you take the cold out of consideration, this time of year is great. You know, I love how festive this time of year is. I mean, hence the hat. Um, yeah, there's... Looking forward to a pretty solid weekend, you know, uh... Actually, uh, talked to my mom last night, you know, she's in, I mean, I've said she's in Vegas, and, you know, she called, and, you know, she's safe there, obviously. Although, funny enough, I said the other day that, um, not the other day, I think it might have been, like, Tuesday or something, I said this. No, it was, you know, I think I may have said this yesterday, but, um, like, consistently, like, the lowest he gets is, like, 50 or whatever around that time of year, but, um... Actually, my mom's out there right now, and she said that not only is it, like, rainy and cloudy, it's, like, 48 degrees. So, yeah. Las Vegas is an all desert and sunshine, ladies and gentlemen. It can get cold there. It can. It's not very often, but it does. Like, if I were to compare it to any other place in the world where it's, like, really rare, it gets really cold, or... A place that, like, is constantly, like, nice all year round. I would have to say probably Seville, Spain. You know, I actually almost went there abroad for college. But I didn't really want to pursue Spanish as my major, so that's why, you know, I didn't go. But I would like to go someday. Seville would be, that'd be an awesome place to go. Like, um, if I ever do go to Europe one day, like, the places I want to go to are, like, like a few places in Spain, you know, or España, for those of you who speak Spanish. Um, you know, Seville, Barcelona, Madrid, I want to go there, and that's just in Spain, you know, Europe is a whole mess of countries and, like, a, like in a continent that's roughly the size of the United States, I think, I forget the geographics of it all, but, yeah, want to visit, you know, Spain, and, I mean, I mentioned how I'm Irish, I mean, if that green tie I wore all throughout the month of March didn't say anything, then, you know, I would like to see Ireland one day. And Scotland. I always wanted to wear a kilt. Although, don't worry, I would wear something underneath the kilt. I totally would. I mean, it's... I mean, yes, I know what the kilts were used for during battle, which... If you've ever seen the movie Braveheart, then you know exactly what I mean. <laughs> yeah, that's a good movie. I love the movie Braveheart. Braveheart's awesome. Like, that was like, that's probably my favorite Mel Gibson directed movie. Although Hacksaw Ridge is pretty good. Personally, I gotta go with my gun on this one and say Hacksaw Ridge. Not quite as good as Braveheart, but definitely better than Passion of the Christ. But then again, as I said before, if you want to watch anything with the word Passion of the title... Just watch the South Park episode, Passion of the Jew. It's funnier. And overall, you know, better. My computer turned off. So, 
Yeah. Of course, I'd be right about the game last night. I mean, how would I not... I'd have to be, like, completely off my rocker to pick the Jaguars to win last night's game. But that's the only game that's going on right now. And as of this moment in time, it's the only game that really matters. <sighs> but, uh, yeah. I really don't care much of this time of year because... Well, I like this time of year because, you know, the snow really does make things look nice. You know, the, the contrast of white with tree bark brown and, you know, uh, uh, evergreen green, I guess. And, you know, occasional, like, slight orange and brown you get from, like, leaves that you see on the ground from autumn. Like, this really is a great time of year. And then there's, like, at nighttime when everybody has their Christmas lights up and... You see all the uh, decorations for the holiday season, which, you know, I love this time of year. You guys already know that. I mean, again, wearing the hat. I like this bobble thing right here. I love, I love this poof ball. It's awesome. Um, yeah. So, that, uh, that's about it. I just finished reading uh, the latest chapter of One Piece. You gotta say, you know, it's starting to build up to... Who one of the main antagonists of the uh, series is? Of course, of course. When they build up to, they show a silhouette of what the vet, what the bad guy looks like, and then One Piece will be on hiatus next week. I'm like, no. Now it's gonna be December 21st before we get to the next chapter. Man, it's gonna be a long two weeks. Well, not really. I mean, the holiday season really is starting to fly by, and I really do like how um. Like, we're, actually, we're about a third of the, almost a third of the way into, uh, the, well, Christmas season, I suppose. And if you want to talk December 1st to uh, the 24th, you know, I still, I still have my, hold on. This is my, this is my advent calendar, my advent calendar or whatever. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm saving all the chocolate for the end. Because that's, listen, let's be honest. It's Christmas, it's Christmas time of year. There's going to be, like, all sorts of really good food to have. You know, some people have turkey, some people have ham, some people do a standing rib roast. And that's just, like, the main course. There's, like, a whole lot of other, you know, side dishes to have. Which is pretty, um... You know, the point is there's going to be a lot of food. And don't even get me started on, like, the Christmas candy, the Christmas cookies... You know, I actually once had an idea for a crazy kind of, for, um, like, you got, like, for those of you who don't know, there's actually su such a thing called the turducken, where it's a chicken stuffed inside of a duck that's stuffed inside of a turkey. But I actually had one idea, I'm not going to say what it is, because I'm not going to have anyone take the idea, but I, I think I would try pulling it off one day. Like, my idea for stuffing something inside of something inside of something, which... I, I would do it, but, yeah, that's, a lot of people have turducken at this time of year, too. I mean, Thanksgiving I get because, you know, it's, you know, it's, you know, it's turkey. You gotta have, I mean, turkey's gonna be had on Thanksgiving probably no matter what you do, so, if you don't have, you know, a bird stuffed inside of a bird stuffed inside of another bird, you know, that's, seriously, it really does exist. I'm not even kidding. It it's something that's on my bucket list to try one day. Then again, there's a lot of things on my bucket list I gotta gotta get going at and trying to get. So there's that. And actually, speaking of birds, yesterday newest episode of Hot Ones, and I gotta say, Pete Holmes was yesterday's guest. I'm like, I was wondering when they would get to you one day. I'm actually kind of surprised it took him this long to get Pete Holmes. So, yeah. It was... I'll tell you what, though. Pete Holmes is the kind of guy who, like, seemed to kind of... That's what, that's one thing I really like about Hat Ones, because there have been guests on there like Sean Mendez and John Mayer and Pete Holmes, where, honestly, I'm on the fence as to whether or not I like them, but, like, after the Hot Ones interview... You really get to see them in, like, a different light that's better. And I actually like them now. Well, 
I didn't mind them, but now I actually do kind of, you know, like them. I mean, I don't go out seeking Shawn Mendes' music because some of it is a little, you know, bad. Seriously, cause anyone even, has anyone ever heard the song Treat You Better? I swear, some of those lyrics I cannot understand at all when he's yelling. You know exactly what lyrics I'm talking about. And, you know, I don't go seeking out any of Pete Holmes' stand-up stuff, but, you know, it's something worth, um, worth, you know, checking out if you're into it. But, yeah. Got, uh, got some weekend plans, you know, to get put into fruition. Don't really know what I'm going to be doing myself, but we'll have to, you know, wait and see. Um... There is something I may consider trying to get for myself, but I'll have to sort of, you know, play it by ear. But, I'll tell you what, I'll let you know if I got it because I'll show it off tomorrow. Just like, out of the blue. But it really is something, well, if you guys have been paying attention to me at all this year, and if you're a gamer at all, you know what today is. I'll put it to you that way. And now I'm kind of worried because I never went out to pre-order it. I really hope it doesn't get sold out. Well, if it is sold out, I'm the one who made that bet. I guess I'll, you know, clean it up when that comes to it, I guess. Yeah, sorry. Man, it really is going to be that time. I'm just going to, like, come down a little bit of something or whatever. Don't worry. It's not really, like, that bad or anything. It's just, it's just the time of year. I mean, one thing I'm really glad I'm doing now is I'm actually getting my workout done in the morning instead of the afternoon. I just, I just feel better when I do my workout first. I do. You know, a nice four-miler, and that, uh, that's all she wrote for me. Uh, tomorrow, I'm actually going to try something that's 1.75 times longer. I think I did the math right. But, at the play by ear. I really have no idea what I'm doing at this point, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. That, uh, I don't really have much else to, you know, get ready or get prepared for other than, you know, holidays are coming up, you know. If you haven't already, take the time to spend, spend it with your loved ones if you can. Because, you know, it is that time of year and if you're feeling down, you know, there's plenty of stuff you can look to for inspiration. You know, you can do something as simple as helping somebody out or watching me entertain you on these videos. That's worth a try, right? So, yeah. I really don't much have much else to, you know, say or do other than maybe I'm going to try and see. I'm going to try and see something tonight, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I have to play it by ear. But... It ha whatever happens, happens. So, like, favorite, share, and hit that subscribe button. I could really use the support on YouTube. Follow me on the social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. You guys know where I'm going to be chilling at. As always, I'm very humbled I made this video for all of you guys to watch and enjoy for today. I am humbled that we all have a wonderful Friday. It's the weekend, so you know it's going to be good. Hopefully. And remember, if any of you guys ever want to talk or chat, I'm always going to be here. So let it hear. And I'm always most certainly going to have your back. So take care, everyone, and stay warm because it's going to be a pretty cold one this weekend. Take care, everybody.